Welcome everybody back to Tastiers with me, Chef Smiley. All right, today I'm gonna to make something quick and simple, you know, for the health buffs too. We're making a chicken Caesar with um, fresh chicken breasts. I got fresh romaine and for my croutons, I'm gonna be using garlic bread instead. Okay, so first I'm gonna start off by seasoning the chicken breast. Right, remember I told everybody it's not all just about the uh, salt and pepper, right? We need, we got all kinds of spices to make this thing taste right. All right, so we got the chicken breast, simple. For my spices, for this one, I'm going to use some granulated garlic, right? Granulated garlic, just a little, little dust in. Also, a little Italian seasoning. This will, will make it taste nice, as you can see. Right? A little dust in that. And lemon pepper. <laughs> we got the lemon pepper. Like I told you before, for this, there you go, beautiful. So, the basic, but salt, as we go, give it a little twist. That's it. And, the black pepper. First grounded. All right. For me, I'd like to just use just a dab of olive oil. A little dab. As we go. Now, I will get my pot ready. We got the pot on. Stove on, getting warm. And we got to get more warm for us. All right. Get the fan going. Know that everything is off the side. As you see, beautiful. Two nice sized chicken breasts. That can feed two healthy adults. Alright. A little dust of olive oil to get it going. And it is getting hot. I can see it. The pan is getting hot. See how the, the, se the seasoning soaked in very nicely? That's how you want it. You don't need more than that. All right. This is an inductive uh, um, burner we're using, so it gets hot very fast. As you hear the sizzling. Here it's sizzling, my tongue. Um, we're gonna get it um, going. We just wanna see the steam, right? As we go. Thank you. You can hear the sizzle. Nice sir. It only takes a couple minutes, man. If it's it gone over 10 minutes, it's too long. See, as we see already, it's starting to get the color in. Right? So as, as that is cooking, up on the side, I am going to make, um, get the bowl and stuff ready. All right, with the salad, I'm going to change my gloves here because that was raw chicken that we had, we had with that. And that's a cross-contamination if you mix that with your uncooked products. I got big hands, so, you know, sometimes these gloves are a handful. But yeah, we got some fresh romaine here, right? So usually it's cut, cut off the ends. For me, I cut them into fours, right? Into fours. And we have all kinds of bowls that we could, uh, we have to use this thing with. As my sous chef gets ready, 
my bowl. Chicken is coming nicely. Beautiful. Let me turn up the heat just a bit more. So, let me get this out of the way. So I have cut it in fours so that they come into nice little squares. All right. As you see, nice fresh romaine. Nice healthy serving to grown adults. Let me bring this off to the side. That's a show. All right. And my tongs, my tongs. But you could even use a spoon even so, but tongs is ideal. Right? You see when the tongue, if you don't have the tongs, it's a little bit, right? But whatever works, whatever you use, you gotta make it work. Got the tongs. Yeah, the tongs were used for the, for the raw chicken, so we're waiting right. for them to come back to you. Yeah, that's right. That's why, you know? You have to be versatile, be able to use anything that you find in the kitchen to make it work, right? As the chicken is cooking, it is almost ready. We're gonna take a break and come back with the prep, with the final part of this meal. Okay? Thank you. Welcome back everybody. So we're back, the chicken is pretty much done. As you can see. Nice and juicy. I'm going to pop this on the cutting board. Beautiful. Beautiful. Now, I'm just going to turn the heat up a little bit more. And we're going to toast these fresh garlic bread into croutons. And as you can see, the steam is coming. It's beautiful. Right? I'm gonna do it too. Make some nice fresh, fresh croutons. This way you can cut it any way you like. Right? Let me move this. So, chicken breast is here. You can just cut it up. See how easy it cuts? Nice. Nice and moist. See? Beautiful. No pink in it at all. All you see is juice. All you see is juice. Juicy. If it's not juicy, then you don't want it. Right? Beautiful. Nice. I'll bring this up to the camera so you can see. See how juicy it is? The juice is dripping. Juicy. That's what we want. Got the garlic bread here, toast it nicely. Got it sticking to the pan, but it's okay. Right out into the right out into the bowl when we are finished. So I am gonna turn this off and finish that. Now it's time to get this thing tossed. So, my sous chef, can you pass me, uh, can I get the one of the uh, smaller bowls there? Yeah, thank you very much, yeah. No, give me that one, yeah, thank you very much. My sous chef on the side, so shy, I never want to get on the camera. So, I, I'm okay with that. All right, so we got the romaine, right? The bread is ready. Going right into, I'm going to take off the bread and just throw it right into the bowl. So, okay, finish this and turn it off. Chicken wise, sorry. Right. We've got some chicken here. Beautiful. All right. I, I kind of broke the bread up inside the bowl. 
inside the pot, right? Coming right out into it. You can't beat this. See how hot it is. Beautiful. All right, good to go. So we got the chicken, fresh croutons, fresh croutons, fresh chicken, and we got the creamy Asiago Caesar dressing. This is one of the tops, very good flavor. This gives you, right? And then a little toss. You can see a little toss, and we are pretty much good to go. All right, we'll plate it as you can see. Need a, let's wipe off a little spot right here. I'm gonna need my plate. All right, like I said, it's enough for two healthy, healthy adults. Lots, look at this. Lots. That's for one person, and we even have another. We can make it. We have enough to make another. And what I'm gonna do is grate some fresh Asiago cheese on top. Right? As you can see. Right? Grate some nice fresh Asiago cheese. Alright. End it off with a splice of lemon. Bottom, bottom cup there, right? It should be in there on the side. Even so, thank you. So give it a nice toss with some fresh lemon. Let's cut this in half here. And we are good to go. Give it a nice little fresh wedge of lemon on the side and you're good to go. All right, so there you go. You got your fresh chicken Caesar salad. All right, thank you. I hope you guys enjoyed that. All right, stay tuned to Tastiers. We got more tasty dishes for you. All right, with me, Chef Smiley. Thank you.